Okay, these videos are not designed to be a weather seminar or teach you how to forecast your weather or exactly what to do with different weather. These, these videos are just designed for you to uh, find out how to get information, how to get those weather, those weather forecasts. And this website right here, the United States Coast Guard broadcasts offshore and high seas weather on both voice communication, teletype, and by weather facts or facsimile weather charts. They broadcast both from Chesapeake, Virginia, as well as New Orleans, Point Reyes, California, Kodiak, Alaska, Honolulu, and Guam on voice channels. And this next broadcast coming up will be from Chesapeake, Virginia, which is approximately 800 and some miles to 900 miles from me here in South Florida. This is the United States Coast Guard, Communications Area Master Station, Atlantic, Chesapeake, Virginia. United States Coast Guard Communications Area Master Station Atlantic, Chesapeake, Virginia. United States Station Atlantic, Chesapeake, Virginia. National Weather Service Marine Forecast will follow. Break. Stand by for FNT1 weather product. FCNT21. This broadcast is coming out of Chesapeake, Virginia on 6, 8, and 12 megahertz. This is brought to you by the ship Palm Radio Network. This is Public Coast Station WLO located south of Mobile, Alabama, just inland of the north coast of the Gulf of Mexico, and Public Coast Station KLB located near Seattle, Washington. KLB. And WLO Radio are open 24 hours per day, 7 days per week for radio, telephone, and radio telex traffic. Class 3, Tropical Storm Lorenzo forecast Friday, October 20th. Coast Station uh, WLO and KLB broadcast uh, weather uh, for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico, as well as the uh, Eastern and North Pacific, as well as Tropical Pacific six to eight times per day and every time every hour on the top of the hour they also have a traffic list of all vessels that they're holding traffic for so not only can you place a phone call through them they can also call you this roll for a minute so you can get an idea of what the weather forecast sounds like fly to george's bank from the northeast channel to the great south channel including waters east of cape cod to the Hague Line, 3.47 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Tuesday, October 22, 2013. Today, south winds stand to 15 knots, becoming 10 at 20 knots in the morning. Seas 2 to 4 feet, building to 3 to 6 feet in the afternoon. Chance of thunderstorms early in the afternoon. Tonight, west to southwest winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming north to northwest 10 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 3 to 6 feet, scattered showers. Wednesday, north winds 5 to 15 knots, becoming south to southwest 20 to 13 knots early in the afternoon. Seas 3 to 6 feet, Chance of showers. Wednesday night, north to northwest winds 20 to 13 knots, becoming west to northwest 25 to 13 knots after midnight. Seas 4 to 7 feet. Chance of rain. Thursday, west winds 20 to 13 knots. Seas building to 6 to 10 feet. Friday. North to northwest winds diminishing to 10 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 7 feet. Saturday. West to southwest winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 7 feet. Zone ANZ 0. Be tuned to WLO, which is a private coast radio station in Mobile, Alabama. It's about 600 miles from me, give or take, 500, 600 miles. And while this uh, station comes in quite strong here in Florida, you should know that they have coverage out about 5,000 miles from the uh, Gulf Coast of the United States, covering the entire North Atlantic into the Mediterranean, 
as well as their secondary station in Seattle, Washington, where they also cover most of the North Pacific and the Eastern uh, Tropical Pacific Ocean. I'm going, to, I'm going to select a couple of their different channels and allow you to listen to their simultaneous broadcast. So you'll get an idea of what can happen at different times of the day. This is on channel 824, which is one of their primary channels that I use for daytime communications around the Gulf Coast and the Bahamas. It's a good overall daytime regional frequency. Coverage is anywhere from 300, 500 miles up to maybe a maximum of 600 to 1,000 miles during the daytime. 0600 Zulu 29.9 north, 50.3 west. Max wind 35 knots. Gust 45 knots. 34 knots. Now I've selected their 6 megahertz channel. Northeast 13 southeast 13 southwest 13 north. Gust 40 knots. 00 Zulu 32.8 north 45.2 west. Post TROP slash RE STEM north TLO. Max Here is their 12 megahertz knots. channel. Gust 35 knots. Extended outlook. Note. Errors for track have average near 150 nautical miles on day four. And go to the 16 megahertz channel. And for intent. Outlook valid 20 west for three hours. We should report within 300 miles of 29. And back to 12 megahertz. Advisory number 10. National Weather Service National Hurricane Center, Miami, Florida at 172013090 UTC Tuesday, October 22, 2000. And back to 8 megahertz. Point, the 8 megahertz signal is almost as strong as 12. There is more noise on the 8 megahertz channel which is understandable and it is natural. Therefore it is the 12 megahertz channel that I would want to select at this time. But this is just an indication of how changing the channel to the correct channel, band or frequency for the correct path or communications distance that you want to talk at is an important concept. This is a very important criteria when trying to determine how to use your radio and how to talk to who you wish to talk to. Using the Coast Guard weather broadcast here as well as the WLO channels we looked at earlier gives you an idea of different channels and frequency bands used different times of the day for the different distances. I'm going to try to go over this as best as I can in as brief and as easy to understand way as possible. A general rule of thumb is that you're going to find as you watch these videos that the 8 and 12 megahertz channels seem to be used most often by most cruisers and by most offshore mariners. There's a good reason for this. During the daytime, the 8 megahertz channels tend, tend to allow regional communications that is in their outside the range of your VHF radio of say 30 to 50 miles on up to as much as 500 to uh, as, at the maximum of about a thousand miles but typically in the 200 to 600 mile range the 12 megahertz channels are significantly longer distance during the daytime these can range from as at the minimum of 150 to 200 miles up to as much as three or four thousand miles Typical ranges on 12 megahertz during the daytime for most cruisers will be in the 500 to 2,000 mile range. The 16 megahertz channels will tend to create even longer range communications possibilities, although as we get to the lower sunspot cycle range, these will tend to be only daytime use. 12 megahertz channels can still be used in the evening, although to a lesser extent as the years go on. Night nighttime use you're going to find the lower channels of 4, 6, and 8 megahertz to be useful although with the added noise of static and atmospheric thunderstorms. I've also showed you you know how do you get uh, 
weather on the single sideband radio. People want to know, well, where do you get that information? Well, this is the website that I recommend to people they go to. This is the National Weather Service Marine Weather, excuse me, a Marine Weather Home Site. This page, this page has just about every link you could possibly imagine to every type of weather and forecast information available, uh, not just for the U.S., but worldwide as well. And there you go. And there it is. And I'll show you. I'm just going to scroll down here, and you'll be able to see. You can get all of the information off the internet here that you could ever imagine, as well as links to how to get it on your radio and elsewhere. Coastal data. And then, of course, it has dissemination information. And this is what's important to most of us. Okay, where do we get this information when we're offshore? Well, here's one of the most important links here, U.S. Coast Guard HF Weather Facts. Here's another one, U.S. Coast Guard HF Voice. Uh, there's also, you know, VHF. This is the uh, U.S. Coast Guard HF Voice communication site, which, of course, that's what it says, U.S. Coast Guard HF Voice. And right here on this page, which is I linked from the previous page, you'll have, you'll notice the broadcast schedule for November Mike November from Chesapeake, Virginia, November Mike Golf from New Orleans, November Mike Charlie from uh, California, uh, Kodiak, Alaska, Honolulu, and Guam. And these are voice weather broadcasts that are usually four times a day for the offshore weather forecasts here, here, and four times a day for the high seas uh, weather forecasts here and here. The uh, offshore weather forecasts cover uh, offshore waters from the United States about 20 to 60 miles offshore out to about 250 miles for along the entire coast of the United States as well as throughout the entire Bahamas, the southwest North Atlantic out to about 55 degrees west, uh, as well as the entire Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico. So basically if you're sailing anywhere from uh, say Venezuela, the high seas weather forecast, these are more generic, these are more general forecasts and these cover very large areas, basically uh, entire sections of the uh, ocean, like the entire North Atlantic Ocean uh, west of 35 degree west. To give you an idea, these are the offshore waters forecast uh, south of 31 degrees north, and this is the area that's covered in detail. Each one of these different blocks is covered in detail. Uh, and again, these are voice weather broadcast. You don't need any special equipment. All you need is the radio to tune in and listen to it. So if you want weather for anywhere, here's the Caribbean. Here's the tip of Florida. Here's Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. Here's the Lesser Antilles, and here's the Caribbean. South America, Central America, and here, of course, is Panama and the Canal. And again, each one of these blocks is a separate forecast for each one of those areas. And you'll, and you'll get the current weather, and then you'll get the forecast for 12 hours, 24, 36, 48, 72, 96 hour forecast, and then you'll get a long range, uh, usually a five or six day long range forecast as well. I talked about the high seas forecast here, and as you can see, the high seas forecast, the entire uh, western part of the North Atlantic is covered in two different uh, forecasts, and then the Pacific Ocean is very well covered. Uh, this is something that people are often uh, not aware of. Uh, many people that are going on a milk run, uh, doing a circumnavigation, or at least going to the South Pacific, they may be leaving from Panama or something like that, and they forget that the uh, U.S. Coast Guard does weather broadcast for this entire it's pretty much until you get to you know the uh, uh, until you get close to the coast of Australia where they have nice weather forecasts out of Australia and New Zealand as well. Uh, a nice milk run, you're going to get a daily forecast over your voice radio uh, from the U.S. Coast Guard very easily throughout this whole region. Again, these are very general forecasts. These are not going to be de detailed pinpoint forecasts. We're going to get to that in just a moment. But it doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to own any special equipment. You don't have to own any special modems. You don't have to have any special cables hooked up. You don't even have to have a laptop or a tablet or anything hooked up, turned on, or operational. All you need is your ears and a radio, and that's all you need.